and two. And he shaped the orbitals what gets involved with molecular bonding when you get a covalent bond. These orbitals overlap with different atoms. That's where the Henning's wave theory to predict why atoms form molecules. Okay, something funny, the electron has an intrinsic spin, explains why we have magnets for it. Anybody like to play with magnets? Yes. And what happens when you have a piece of iron, when you look at iron in the periodic table, it has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. Four of them will be unpaired in the iron atom. One, two, three, four will be unpaired. You can only go up to ten here. That's where you're feeling the three D. We'll talk about it shortly. <coughs> they all line up. Now, what happens? You got crystals in a magnet. It's usually called a crystal. They so got many little crystals if you see, and the iron atoms and one crystal going this way. The other iron atoms going that way to crystal. The atoms line up like that to crystal. And usually it's polycrystalline. And what happens, all their orientation electrons neutralize so it doesn't feel like a magnet. But it will be attracted to a magnet because of unpaired electrons. But if you use a very strong magnetic field, you make all those unpaired electrons line their spin up in one direction. What do you get? A, M, A, G, N, E, T. Magnet. And certain oxides, such as this one of iron and oxygen,